What's going on everybody? This is Darezebo here and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the spinning in scope effect I just played in the video clip right before this. And this tutorial is going to take place in Sony Vegas Pro. So let's go ahead and open up Sony Vegas Pro and I have two clips already in here. And so I'm just going to go ahead and mute this audio so you guys don't have to deal with that. But here's the first clip, which is a trick shot, and I'll link the guy in the description. And then here's the second shot, which is actually going to be a quad feed. And so, what you guys need to do is just go to the, your part where there's actual like sniping, and we're just going to trim our clip right when the scope pops up. And then, what you need to do is go to best, full, and then click on save a screenshot right here. I'm just going to save that to my desktop and I'm just going to drag that up there and as you can tell I don't know why Sony Vegas does this and I don't know if there's something that's easier to fix this but as you can tell that the the actual clip is a lot less dark than the picture that we just took so I already made a preset here but I'm just going to go ahead and drag on brightness and contrast and then I already have a preset here which is for my picture transition so just change the brightness to 0 0.03 and the contrast to 0 0.05 and you can see that that doesn't make it 100% better but it just looks a little bit better um, if somebody has a fix for that then just comment below I really that I've always had to deal with that in Sony Vegas and so I'm not sure why it does that or anything like that but I'm just gonna deal with it like this and then you just need to click on this little button right here event pan crop and we're gonna check this button that says mask and do scope and I already have uh, I've already masked all the way around this but if you haven't all you need to do is click on anchor creation tool and mask all the way around that but I'm gonna change the feather type simply because mine is not perfect it's actually for black ops and so just let me adjust that um, I'm just gonna use that right there doesn't look the best but I'm gonna deal with it and so what we need to do now is go to the very end and on our mask we're gonna actually click on position and we're gonna spin this around twice and we're gonna set the angle to negative 360 just like that and so now if we play this back you can see that it actually spins but we want it to actually like fade in and so we're just gonna drag it just like that and then we're gonna come over here to the transitions tab and let's see if I can find this You're going to need let's see where this is um okay I'm gonna use the effect default 3d fly and fly out so just drag that on top of that and we can see that it just comes in pretty much like that if you don't like that transition um, there's plenty of other ones you can use let me see what else you can use zoom in center so if I just take that off I can just put on zoom in center and so now it's just gonna zoom in gradually and spin and so I actually think I'm gonna use that one but I'm gonna go ahead and copy that layer by per uh, clicking on the layer and pressing control C and then I'm gonna paste the layer by pressing control V then I'm going to open up the event pan crop, uncheck the mask, and so this um, this one is not actually going to have the mask. And then I'm just going to drag that onto the bottom so it'll fade in just a little bit. And we need to delete that transition so it's actually fading in. And so you can see now that it's fading in. Actually, let's go ahead and delete this position keyframe. If that'll let me select it. Um, I don't know 
why this isn't working. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with that. But you can see that looks pretty good. And if we just put the clip right after it, we'll watch it. So you can see that the scope just kind of spins in there and it fades off into the actual clip. So it's a very nice effect for your montages and everything, your episodes and so. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you haven't yet, be sure and follow me on Twitter for the latest updates. My Twitter is just twitter.com and you can just do slash darezebo and follow me on there. And also, make sure and like my Facebook page. What's going on everybody? This is darezebo right here. So we got three... Three people, the only three people like it. So I need you guys to help me out and like my Facebook. And so I, I just want to thank you guys again for watching. Um, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any other tutorials, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, if you guys have any tutorial requests, you guys need to learn how to do any specific effect, um, just feel free to message me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to render this out and put it at the end of the video. See you later, guys. Good job, Jake. Get ready for the next round. I saw that, Jake. I saw that. My boy, Jigaboo. My boy, Jigaboo. Oh, yeah. My boy, Jigaboo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why? There you go.